So policymakers are subject to all kinds of influence from um, humans and pressure groups and so on. But increasingly, uh, data is available in large amounts that it can be processed, it can be presented in objectively verifiable ways and looked at by all the stakeholders involved. So we now have a duty to try to use data and evidence uh, based on that data uh, to help policymakers make decisions that are transparent and fair and so on. And uh, the, 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 it's a slow process because often uh, people in making policy decisions uh, come from a political science background uh, and we have to gradually introduce the idea that uh, you know, the, the data science, the statistics and uh, computer science and machine learning and so on and AI techniques have something to say, have a role to play in this uh, and uh, convince people with good examples. So the, the new data um, and policy journal has a very strong role to play in helping with this process of kind of education of policy makers and, and the education of data scientists uh, to each other and the the way it can do that is by providing use cases, you know, papers that actually exhibit actual examples of taking data and applying it to you know, providing evidence for a policy change or supporting an existing policy potentially. And uh, also having open access means other people can look at the papers and, and compare with their own work, uh, reproduce the work, look at uh, related work and so on and so it's part of the the way we do things now nowadays in a, a lot of areas in, in research but it means that uh, we uh, we have a more plausible story about what we're, what we're saying uh, and it, it's consistent with what I'm saying about how the, you would like evidence support policy for example transparently so you'd like papers and journals that publish the papers about the process to be transparent themselves. So uh, right now there's a number of uh, hot topics around the area of data and policy. Uh, so there's the governance uh, problem of uh, data itself. Uh, so that's an interesting set of challenges like privacy considerations, uh, explainability of uh, results from machine learning for example in lots of areas whether it's finance or health or, or other areas, or any, any area of government. Um, so there, there's some big challenges in that, that sort of part of the problem space. There's also just uh, conveying the results clearly so that it's, uh, it's intuitive and reasonable for people to, 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 to take home the messages from any work. So that's it, kind of visualizing things the right way uh, and coming out with examples that are persuasive and so on. So um, there are particular uh, large scale challenges in society and globally today. Uh, for example, uh, we're familiar with all the stories about fake news and so on. So this is sort of one area for uh, you know challenge for democracy. So it's sort of fundamental. Um, also. Uh, nailing some of the arguments about uh, environmental uh, impact of uh, humans on the planet uh, and what can be done about it, not just sort of woe is me, the sky is falling, but actually what things are being done that help, uh, for example, the deployment of renewable energy is partly driven by government uh, policies uh, around the world um, and has actually been quite successful. So, so under-reporting that might be a, you know, a bad idea. So that's just, just another example of how you can join up information and, and, uh, and convey the results between data and policy makers in each direction. So, uh, so the Journal of Data and Policy is, is an interesting venture because it crosses very wide interdisciplinary gap. And so one of the duties we have is to uh, present work that communicates across that gap and that's actually quite challenging. So by adding all kinds of um, surrounding material in the form of blogs and discussion uh, and presentations uh, about the results from workshops as well as a sort of traditional form of paper, uh, we hope that that will speak to the kind of social data science as well as the sort of technical computing uh, uh, side of things. Uh, and uh, also it may be that, as I say but previously, the two-way lesson is that the, uh, it may be good for the people working in a sort of purely technical, sort of under the bonnet way, actually learn to communicate better as well. Mm -hmm.